Okay, so I'm starting with the next part of the walkthrough, which is the Dongo's Cavern. Um, to answer a couple more questions that I've had on my comments, and I just want to make sure everybody knows that I have played through the entire game before, um, but I needed a lot of help. There are parts to practically all the temples, except the fire temple, that I needed help with. And But I have gotten to the point where I have beaten Ganon, and so I know how the whole game plays out, and the way I discovered that is when I first started playing Zelda, I watched friends play and asked questions. I watched video walkthroughs, and I read text walkthroughs so I know what was going to happen and what to listen for. And just through a lot of patience and figuring out what's going on, I've been able to um, get further and further into the game until currently I can get, um, I'd say, halfway through the water temple um, from the beginning of the game with no help. So I'm just going to continue with my walkthrough, um, starting today with the Dodongo's Cavern. Okay, so I know how these rooms are set up with the platform in the middle, platforms on the side, and the dinosaur head straight ahead. So, and the, plat the pillars that move up and down make a noise when they reach either their top or bottom point. So I go across here, turn right. And now I'm on this one. You gotta wait for it to come back up. Save state. Now it's all the way down. I can hear the humming sound of the BMOs, so I know they're around me. Now I'm at the top. Turn right. Couple steps. Navi's indicating the bombs here. Ow. Okay, so got rid of the Bemos, and if I can find my way back to where those flowers are, now we should indicate them. There they are. Now, I know I gotta go down quite a ways and throw the bomb against the wall to blow up the next door. Safe state. Wall. Then make it. There we go, finally got it. I gotta find the door. There we go, that was the noise I was looking for. Okay, so there are three dead. Now he's indicating a secret on the left. Couple more of these guys. Yes, that was good. Okay, so now I know I'm near the door. Over here. Okay, this is where I want to be. I want to find where that button is because that will line me up. Now I know I have to get the statue first. Nope, I didn't pull it enough. There we go. And I don't know what the where I can tell where the doors are. Is there's that flutter noise by the doors? Maybe you can hear it. 
If it does it again, that noise. Now, I don't know what that is, but that's how I was able to locate where the door is. Just. I have my rubber shield out, I think. Right, these guys. And actually, while I'm in here, I might as well change a couple things. And I want my deco sticks. I just let them come to me. Oh, right, they're both dead. Now, should be lighting up with the door. Unless you get two herd walking across here. Ow. There we go. Now I really hate this room. Not because of the Dodongos, but because of the lighting of the torches. It takes me a long time to get it done. But let's kill these Dodongos first. <laughs> I can tell where the torch is because it's the only fire noise in the room. So line up with this wall, move around. So this is where I'm going to guess I'm going to start. Got to make sure I get to a place where I can get my stick lit. So this should be the right spot. Yes. And I just gotta keep doing this until I find out which way, where I kinda have to go here. Okay, I know that's on the left side of the room, so I don't wanna go that way. Okay, I figured out I have to turn 90 degrees and start heading down the room. That was just through trial and error. Now I gotta find those torches over here. Okay, I figured this much out. Let's see if I can repeat it. First torch. Second torch. Third torch. See, I can do it. It just takes me a, a really long time. And the door. Okay, now that I know that switch is out here somewhere. I don't want to jump off before hitting it. There we go. That opens the door over there. Quit and save my game. And restart. 
Okay, now it's time to do the left side of the dungeon. Wait for this to get to its top. Okay, so turn to the left this time. And wait for it to come back up. Save stick. Alright, now I know that door is around here somewhere. These doors are a lot harder to find in the Dongo's Cavern because the walls are stone and the doors are metal or stone. I don't know which, but they don't make the wood noise like it did in the Deku Tree. So I don't have that advantage yet this time. There we go. Okay, this room. All right, this is a trial and error kind of room too, because with Navi flying around in so many directions, it's kind of hard to tell where the empty spot is. Okay, I got the bomb I need. Now I gotta find more of the table. And I'm just gonna set it right there for testing. Nope, where's the right spot? And this will take me several times until I get the right spot. There we go. Okay, so the stairs are down. Okay, I'm almost on the stairs. There we go, now I found the stairs. Don't wanna do that. Spiders now, so I know they're the door. Alright, this is room. Kill the keys first. I need my slingshot. Okay, so the keys are dead. Now I know if I hit the wrong statue with my sword, it will become alive, and I don't want that, so. Okay, so here are the bomb flowers, so that's near the outer wall. I want to find stuff on the inner wall here. Okay, that was the wrong statue. Okay, wrong statue. Found it, finally. I think I pulled it enough away. There we go. And I found the button. 